Bless these workers and all who labor to build this cathedral to your glory and honor. Through the example of St. Joseph and under his patronage, may they safely complete the work you have set us to do, thereby attaining the rewards you promise. Through the gift of your eternal wisdom, grant that the undertaking begun here for your glory may progress day by day to its successful completion. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today was just a, a beautiful occasion to gather with all these wonderful workers to do what the church always does, to lift up the, uh, the dignity uh, of the worker. And so we honor their work. And uh, we honor them because we know they're doing this for the glory of God and, and in service to others. But we also prayed for them. Sometimes we forget, especially in construction projects, and especially of a significant size, uh, that their safety is at risk. And so today we came to ask God uh, to bless them, and St. Joseph the worker, uh, to watch over and protect them. The workers uh, uh, do not hesitate uh, to tell you uh, that unlike any other project they've been involved with, this one is so special because they know they're building God's house. And to hear them say that, and the fact that they're so mindful of that every time they come on this site, it's inspiring. Yeah, it's really, it's a, it's a blessing that you know you live for so long with a vision and a dream and a hope. And then all of a sudden you come onto the site and say, it's, it's taking root. It's actually happening. And then you give thanks to God because that's what the Lord always tells us, and trust this and trust this endeavor uh, to me and watch what I'll do with it. And that's what we did. We entrusted this right from the very beginning uh, to God. And, and I know that God, uh, through the goodness, the sacrifices, the generosity, the tireless efforts of so many people, God is going to use all those gifts in, in miraculous ways. And we already see it taking shape and form.